Schweizer, more than PCBs. Compact all-rounders for the smallest spaces. Systems for many of today's and tomorrow's applications are subject to an advancing process of miniaturization and have to offer additional functionalities at the same time. One example are electric motors into which PCBs, together with the electronic system, are built. There are first applications where the surface of a PCB and the used semiconductors is nearly similar in size. Thus, the next and consistent step is the embedding of active and passive components into the PCB. There are at least four good reasons for embedding. One, miniaturization of the entire PCB. Two, improvement of the electric and thermal performance and thus a higher robustness. Three, active IP protection by integrating customer-specific ICs into the PCB. And four, to enable a system cost reduction. In order to optimally solve the different requirements, Schweitzer has developed a modular system for products and embedding solutions. I-square board, the integrated interposer board for logic semiconductors with a horizontal current flow. The motherboard embedding approach with indirect pad contacting, for example, for CMOS and BCDMOS of semiconductor technologies. P-square pack, the power PCB pack for power semiconductors with vertical current flow, which are built into the PCB, for example, in MOSFET and IGBT technology. Cavity board, for a quasi-embedding of bare dyes. This allows for shortest bond loops, for example, for high-frequency applications. Mu-square pack, mu-thin, mu-pitch pack for smallest, thinnest, and multi-chip semiconductor packaging or modules with direct pad contacting. In this area, the following challenges need to be mastered. Manufacturers of PCBs intend to keep costs low for big production panels. Semiconductor manufacturers, however, map their technologies in increasingly smaller structure widths due to cost pressure. Moore's Law states a bisection of the transistor size each 18 to 24 months. This renders the assembly of components on the PCB more and more difficult. The challenges of embedding are the bond pads of the chips, sizes of which today are 100 micrometer or smaller. In embedding, there are basically two possibilities of contacting the bond pads. On the one hand, directly via laser drilling and galvanic contacting onto the pads. However, with the disadvantage of lower yield and higher cost. On the other hand, the indirect contacting by using the Schweitzer I-square boards. In this case, the pads are significantly enlarged by using a mini PCB and thus safely contacted during lamination, offering a high yield and continued favorable production in large scales. Connecting the chip to the interposer is possible both conventionally as face-up with bond wires as well as face-down, for example with stud bumps. A redistribution layer, RDL, unpopular with most semiconductor manufacturers is unnecessary, which significantly increases the amount of the applications even for smaller batch sizes. The Schweitzer I-square board allows for the integration of semiconductors as well as for passive components of an entire system. Schweitzer has fully automated the embedding process. The standard six-layer HDI PCB serves as an example for chip integration. The chip is mounted onto the interposer via flip chip and being embedded into the multi-layer. The PCB continues to pass through the standard PCB process. Via through-hole connection, the interposer is being connected to the other layers of the multi-layer. The end result of the process is the finished product, the I-square board. Potentials. Minimal chip pitches finally become manageable. 
Processing is easy and unproblematic using PCB standard equipment. No additional effort for bond wiring occurs for the semiconductor manufacturer. No special pad designs and surfaces are necessary. Expensive bare die testing is obsolete. Advantages Significant space saving on the surface. Electrical and thermal performance improvement. Savings regarding expensive component packaging and shielding measures. Possible reduction of PCB complexity. Best possible yield in final assembly. System cost reduction through miniaturization. Active IP protection. Schweitzer has more than six years of experience in embedding projects. Due to this experience, the company is convinced of having achieved a world record in this area. Pariflex, a bi-stable display, was generated together with Fraunhofer Institute and is a PCB of only 0.8 mm thickness. Into this product, four display drivers with just under 300 IOs and two logic components were integrated. Altogether, roughly 1,300 IOs with chip pitches of only 50 micrometer. For each embedding challenge of its customers, Schweitzer can offer the right solution.